accused 11, Joel Macheta, in the Tabo Besta saga has been granted 10,000 rands bail with conditions, though, and he appeared in court alongside Mwekezi Ramulula, who abandoned his bail. Our senior reporter, Ian Siasindira Masakani, is at the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court and uh, joins us now to give us, of course, this background in terms of what happened inside courts. Lee, good morning to you, uh, colleague. W what happened? What led to, of course, uh, seeing Joel Macheta receiving that bail of 10,000 rands with conditions. Well, uh, Demelo, we have just wrapped up here in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court where accused number 11, that is Joel Macheta, has just been granted bail uh, to the amount of 10,000 rand. Uh, any moment from now, uh, we will be seeing him walking out of the Magistrates Court, of course, with some strict bail conditions. Um, those include the fact that he's, he has already uh, handed over his passport. He cannot leave Bloemfontein without in, informing the investigating officer. Um, he's also not allowed to contact a list of witnesses that has been uh, given to his lawyer. It has about 18 names on it. And uh, from what we understand, um, the um, bail application was unopposed by the state uh, because uh, the I.O. did inform the state prosecutor that the uh, statements um, that have already been made so far uh, by some of the witnesses are unknown to Macheta. So um, he's got to also also report to the Bloomsbury police station on a Monday between 8 a.m. Um, and 4 p.m. and has also been warned that he needs to make each and every appearance um, in connection with this case. Uh, during his application, he did, of course, hand in an affidavit, uh, which was read into the record where he detailed his personal circumstances, how he's a father of four children, um, how he's got very strong ties uh, to the free state and uh, would not evade his trial. But to just give us some reaction, I am joined by a family member, a cousin of Mr. Makheta. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Mufugeng. Last week we spoke, um, and as a family, you were very much um, wanting to support Makheta and still believe in his innocence. Perhaps just talk me through how you're feeling now that he's been granted bail. No, thank you very much. Uh, like I have indicated uh, last time when we spoke, <clears throat> uh, today we've been uh, vindicated. Even though that uh, the, the journey is still long, we are still to uh, await the trial of the uh, court, the, so to hear what uh, will be the outcomes at the end of the day. But uh, like I've said uh, previously, I'm certain that will definitely come out uh, victorious at the end of this entire process. Uh, today, when I, our brother uh, got bail, we felt that uh, uh, it is very imperative for him so that he can come out and clear his name. Yes. Maybe then talk to me about how difficult this has been for the family and for him in particular. Um, as a family, you believe in his innocence. Is he somebody who could be capable of the uh, things he's been accused of? Uh, uh, He's been through a lot. I really don't want to lie. His entire family, the people that are depending on him, have been pulling on a last leg. Things have been somewhat very difficult for the entire family and even for us. Like I said, I do not believe he's someone who's capable to can uh, do a crime of that nature. However, we will await all the necessary processes of the court and the investigations to be finalized, but I still maintain the position that uh, we yeah, we had uh, previously that uh, he is uh, innocent in all this. Uh, his uh, children uh, have been going through a devastating moment, but I believe that today they will feel very much better that now their father is back home. We also, as the entire family, would be much uh, happier to see to welcome him back uh, i i am i'm very certain that in, as the time goes on uh, we will all be cleared in this entire thing particularly him because uh, this has brought the name of the family into disrepute but we will of course uh, await the the trial to be finalized 
we don't want to uh, put the cult before the horses. Mm. Yes. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. All right. Well. Uh, that is the cousin to Mr. Joel uh, Makata, just giving us the reaction from the family now that he has been granted bail. Makata uh, is the seventh person or the seventh suspect in this escape saga um, of the 12 people that have been arrested who has been granted bail. So we will be back uh, here in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court um, on the 8th of August. Um, the last appearance um, of the accused, the matter was postponed for further investigations. It will be interesting to see whether we see any more arrests, which of course have not been uh, ruled out in this matter, uh, but also quite interestingly, interestingly Dumelo during court proceedings, during that bail application, uh, there was a representative from the DPP's office who requested to speak to the state prosecutor in the middle of that bail application. And so we had adjourned for about five minutes. Uh, but uh, when we returned after that short adjournment, the state proceeded uh, to say that so they, were, they would not be uh, opposing uh, Makhetse's bail application. So come the 8th of August, we are expecting all 12 accused, including Tabo Besta, uh, to be at the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court. But uh, this coming Friday, we are also expecting the appeal application by Dr. Nandipa in the Free State High Court. Uh, you would remember that she is uh, still fighting for her freedom. Uh, she wants her arrest and deportation from Tanzania to be declared unlawful and set aside. And uh, you would remember that there was a judgment that dismissed her application and now she has been given a date of Friday uh, to have her appeal application heard. All right, we'll leave it there. Colleague, ENCS senior reporter, uh, Slindelo Masakane, out of the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court, is at the back, of course, of uh, Joel Macheta receiving 10,000 rands bail, being charged uh, with aiding and abetting and assisting a convict to escape from prison.